And now I have the privilege to invite Francesco Lauro to deliver his speech, a shipping white night fan. Thank you, Francesco. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, generally, I remember when I was uh, president of the Port Authority and I participated to a lot of conference with politicians, not my friend Amedeo Lepore, but uh, you know, if there was a very boring one, I always hope to, to speak uh, uh, just after him. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, uh, today there are no boring speakers and uh, we have a very brilliant QC with baritonal voice. He could um, although almost sing in this, uh, uh, in this room, in, in this church. And uh, unfortunately, I'm speaking after him. Uh, but uh, I have a very boring subject because I am an Italian lawyer, so, uh, you know, we tend to be a little bit pedantic. And I'm confronting myself with the uh, ship finance that is... Uh, uh, you know, a relatively new interest in my life, you know, having so many good friends like some of you. I mean, you introduced me in the finance. I considered finance something very, very boring, and uh, still in part it is But uh, for me, but probably I am the boring person. So you will apologize if these 10 minutes will uh, be not so entertaining. Um, the, but obviously there are a lot of uh, very deep legal concepts I hope uh, you know, we can deal with together also in the discussion. Uh, a shipping wide night fund. Um, uh, well, this is a Dura um, uh, etching on uh, the, uh, the night, uh, the devil uh, and the death. I mean, there's, a, I think, a response to uh, um, Fabrizio. Um, uh, the, I mean, nothing to do with the status of uh, the bulk carriers, but um, I, I think we have uh, always the need to have a white knight who protects the, uh, who protects his, um, the, the, the Queen uh, Genève and uh, all the um, uh, very uh, beautiful and uh, uh, generous ladies, uh, like the, the ship owners of, uh, of, of Balkars, and we have some of them here, especially when the hard times, uh, when the storm comes. And uh, so with Joshua Giesing and some other friends, I've got um, Arturo Capasso, and uh, you know, we have been trying to design a vehicle that would have uh, not an opportunistic approach, but a friendly approach uh, towards the owners first, and also towards the banks that probably don't know uh, or didn't know at the time they invested, uh, as well as the investors, uh, you know, how tricky could be investing in, in a market like this. So why Wide Not Fund? Uh, I will um, tell you a quote, and you'll have to guess um, by whom this quote is. Uh, probably I would need the assistance of uh, Mark, um, to, 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 to read this, uh, wars, programs, and revolutions, he used to say, offer excellent opportunities for the investor. The stock market crash has been won. Um, who said this? By, by whom is this quote? Uh, now, uh, thank you to uh, Giuseppe Bottiglieri. We, we can make a ballot. You have uh, five possible answers, and I think you have got the, uh, the devices, and you, you can vote. There are five uh, possible uh, authors of, of this quote, uh, but only one is, is the true one. So, Emanuele Lauro. Meyer Amschel Rothschild was very difficult to find a photograph of him, I'm only um, a painting. I mean, he lived around Napoleonic times, as you certainly know. Dick Fould is a little temporary out of business. Lloyd Blankfein and Alan Greenspan, who is also, um, was, as you know, the, the chairman of, of, of the federal. So you can vote.
one for Emanuele. Emanuele, last year uh, we have some friends who were stuck, uh, have been flying all the night from Rome to Naples, to, to be including uh, John Silas, uh, Mr. Galke of Varsila, Yanis uh, Trifilis, and I think they have been, they were sending message. They tried three times, uh, three times last night to reach Naples. and. This is terrible. Last year, um, Emanuele, he rented a, a little jet from Nice uh, to come here, and he took some gales. But, you know, everything is faced. There is only a lot of, um, a little bit of a dramatic uh, um, atmosphere, like tomorrow when we will go to Procida, you know, with the heavy seas. Uh, but, uh, so can we have the result of the ballot, please? Okay, so who is, who is winning this? Uh, uh, my site is probably, I forgot, uh, 37, uh, uh, Maya Amschel, Rothschild, uh, Alan Greenspan, Emanuele Lauro. So it's, no, it's not Rothschild, it's not Emanuele, uh, it's not Alan Greenspan. Um, uh, you can try again. These were all wrong. Now, here, we have got the right name. So you, you can choose. We have another Emanuel, who is a very good friend of mine, and uh, he's smiling. Uh, George Soros is not smiling. Fredrickson definitely is not smiling at all. And uh, Bruce uh, is, looks very, very nice. And... Uh, Obviously, the, 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 world, the wolf of Wall Street is laughing. I mean, th there is no relations between these five uh, personalities. So can we have the result, please? I think Soros. One who didn't get any vote, and this one is Bruce Chatwin. Uh, I think Soros is the winner. But unfortunately, unfortunately, sorry, can we go back to my slides? Oh, sorry. Yeah, actually, the one who didn't take one vote he is the author. This is from Utz, and obviously there was a little trick because I'm a bad guy. This is what Emanuele Grimaldi says about me. I always told him I was a good boy. He says you could get with the murder, and you wouldn't be my lawyer if you had been so good as you pretend to be hypocritically. But Bruce Chatwin, he didn't get one vote. He, he may made the trick. It's not for the investor opportunity, for, but it's for the collector. And this is the a very small book I suggest everybody to read is about a collector of porcelain in Prague called Utz. And this is a fascinating story. And Utz thought that war problems, revolutions, and stock market crash were very useful opportunity to acquire um, pieces for his um, crazy collection. He had a crazy collection. It's a true story. It's a 1988 published novel. So, also a freight market crisis is one of such opportunities. I mean, obviously the graphs of uh, Fabrizio are much more precise than mine. And Sorry, we are talking about things that are uh, terrible in some restaurants for us and for all the people who work with us. But uh, I think we should take them easy. But there is also a good side. Sooner or later, we don't know where we are, in, in this uh, sort of graph, but sooner or later there will be a point at which a young fleet or a fleet of a decent uh, age will start again to make money and will be worth much more than now, and obviously will be worth much more than now for the sectors which are in crisis. So the concept is that uh, we sometimes consider crisis something bad, but they are also 
gr great opportunity. And there is always a price for everything. There is always the right price. Is that only we should be realistic if we are the owners of the assets, if we lend the money, if you are investors who want to either unfriendly as some of them or friendly I, as I suggest with my night, white night proposal, we want to intervene in the market. But there are always some opportunities and in my opinion the opportunities are at the low end and not at the upper end. So money is needed to buy time because obviously we want to arrive alive to this time that when the market goes up and the unbalance, as Mr. Mitropoulos said, between the demand and the offer of tonnage is rebalanced again. But the, 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 uh, the answer is, is the cash. And obviously the, there could be lack of cash. We are experiencing this problem. And uh, especially when we have got a situation in which the value of the assets uh, is, is lower than the, the, than the loans, obviously the, there is a crisis because the owner, uh, he hasn't got probably as in any more money to invest. Uh, obviously the bankers, they don't want to become uh, uh, investors. Uh, and, and, and so we, we, we need some fresh money, but this fresh money can be obtained to avoid that the game is over and everything falls down. And we should be realistic and understand that in Italy a bankruptcy could last nine years. So even if you are the most senior secured creditors, you, know, you are stuck for one year, so half of the life of your asset, if it's a very new asset or more, uh, in a bankruptcy. So this is the evil we have got all to cooperate to avoid. And so we have uh, to be realistic because the new money will come only if the value of the ass assets is a l l at least something higher than the value of the liability that uh, we have. So there is a write-off, or haircut, or I mean suspension of um, interest, uh, temporary things. I don't really believe. I think that we arrive to a point even when particularly when the imbalance is big, that we have to uh, really become realistic about this. So if new equity will be invested, uh, the creditors avoid to be st stuck in these horrible proceedings. And we may, they may participate. Uh, I think there are a lot of legal and subtle technicalities as stakeholders with the new investors to part of, of the profit if the profit reaches at the time of exit a certain level. And uh, what really matters me more, also the ship owners may either keep the control of their company or of their assets or, 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 or get it back and anyway participate even if the situation was very difficult at the time of the intervention. Uh, to the upside. All this can be drafted technically very well. By, there are a lot of good lawyers around here, but also a lot of financial minds who could arrange this. But there is a but. Uh, in order, uh, in certain jurisdictions, to, to do this, we need a general agreement, sort of chapter 11, not just to gain time, but to sort out the problem, which would be a bulletproof uh, way of um, avoiding, uh, for instance, clawback uh, actions. Because if we have to be realistic about the level of the unsecured debt and even go lower than the secured debt because we want to have the fresh money and nobody of us uh, wants to bring him or is able to bring him this money, we have to, to make um, a sort of bulletproof agreement. This opportunity is given by in each jurisdiction. We have been uh, doing lectures with uh, German lawyers, American lawyers at the Baltic Exchange to compare this and now we know a lot about with Greek lawyers. And there will be full, satisfa full satisfaction of all the parties involved. 
uh, there was a beautiful, when uh, Giovanni Zara helped me to, to choose the image, beautiful uh, lady, but um, even uh, uh, we, we took this because then I realized that we were in the church and this lady was really <laughs> too beautiful. And then was also not politically correct. I should have been, you know, a very handsome man like uh, me and, and Mark in... Uh, uh, swimming trunks and really would have been too much for 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 this for this church so i mean this is the end oh yes oh yeah uh, yes obviously uh, the opes um, uh, well we should have had the, the photograph of the the picture of the beautiful lady but um, so uh, it uh, was for, for that purpose we substituted it with a more uh, technical and professional image also of the firm. I mean, I don't do this for myself, but I do this for Mark, who has still some sort of reputation, let's say, uh, particularly in Albania and in other countries of Eastern Europe. Thank you very much.